Our story starts in the small town of Newport, New Hampshire, back in the early 1800s, where a young upstart lawyer and mason, David Hale, resided with his wife and five children. He was also the master of Corinthian Lodge number 18. While on a business trip, Brother Hale was caught unprepared for the inclement weather from an oncoming storm. He soon came down with pneumonia, and three days later he passed away. The brothers of his lodge left his chair unfilled for the remaining term of his office in his memory. His wife and widow, Sarah Hale, was a school teacher and didn't earn enough money to support her family. The brethren of Corinthian Lodge, remembering their solemn oath, heard that she wrote poems and helped her publish them into a book. Her collection sold well and improved her income. Building on her popularity, she would later become famous for one of her nursery rhymes, Mary Had a Little Lamb. She would also become the editor for the popular woman's magazine, called The Ladies' Magazine. She would later have several communications with President Lincoln and use her influence to convince him to establish a new national holiday. So because of her efforts, we now enjoy the Thanksgiving holiday. Sarah Joseph Hale, wife of David Hale. Born from a small town in New Hampshire, and supported by the Masonic Brethren of Newport. Together they made a difference in the lives of many across the nation. Mm -hmm.